What is good you guys, it's Lifestyle from LifestyleDidit.com and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a great way to get better at piano while having fun learning piano. The amazing team over at Melodics reached out to me and really introduced me to their app that can teach you how to play piano from zero to 100%. They've designed the app to kind of be like a video game that you're playing with a grading system after each lesson that you play and each course you go through. You really get that feeling that you're not there to learn, that you're more having fun experiencing learning how to play piano with this cool grading system at the end which is probably my favorite part of the whole app because at the end it will tell you your percentage that you got out of 100% and whether or not you got to start so it kind of creates it like a level system and achievements and myself growing up I loved playing video games kind of reminds me of that but I'm learning to play piano better now I did take a few piano classes in high school about a year and a half and then the last half of that year I stopped taking the class because it, it wasn't fun to me and the way that it was being taught just kind of bored me it, it didn't seem like I was having fun doing it so I kind of just went home and would practice aimlessly and kind of do scales but I kind of fell out of it and when they reached out to me I was going through the app and I was really enjoying the process of playing the scales and getting graded and going through these courses and really learning the finger positioning for chords again because to be honest with you I wouldn't play correctly a lot of the time because like I said I didn't continue the formal teachings of piano and I'd kind of teach myself so to be honest with you a lot of the chords I'd play was with my left hand and then I'd play a top melody with my right. So I was never ever playing like the root bass notes with my left hand like I was taught in piano. So going back to this and going back to the basics and then each step learning, you know, how to go from beginner all the way to intermediate to being kind of advanced on piano not that i've got that far in the app yet because i'm still messing with it every single day but this is such an amazing way to get better at piano and have fun while doing it and that is the only reason that i would ever share something like this with you guys and the team over at melodics truly put together something special so i want to share that with you guys today one of my favorite parts is the scale exercises right here let's dive into a couple of those Alright, so we have a lessons section right here. Let's dive into one of those. We have a bunch of different courses we could choose from. Let's try one of the chord building courses. All right, so now I just wanna go over a few of the settings in Melodics. It's very easy. You have the app sound, so make sure that's enabled. You can select the device or go by default. Usually it'll just track your interface anyways, but an easy way to test that is to just play the test audio button. You have latency, in case you're experiencing latency, you can move latency around, master volume, and then auto preview. And then over here you have where you select your MIDI keyboard or the piece of gear you're using. When you first set up Melodics, it asks you, I'm using a 49 key MIDI keyboard, as you can see, a Kai MPK 49. So that is what's selected down there. I'm not using the computer keyboard. And you can map your controller. So just in case for some reason it's reading it wrong or you have some broken keys, you can actually map it yourself. And it'll literally just tell you simply to hit the first key on your device, hit the last key and you're done, 49 keys. If you have broken keys for some reason and you wanna hit a middle key, maybe you know the one octave of your keyboard's broken, I can tell it that this is C and this is C and it says, okay, 37 keys. So it's as easy as that. Up here, you could switch the instrument. So if we go ahead and click this, we can continue with pads, get started with drums or continue with keys. If I wanna use the 12 pads that come on the MPK 49, I can go ahead and continue with pads and it'll tell me to program it as such. And then I could start to play the lessons with pads on it. But in today's video, we're just going over the key section. If you guys did like this video, leave a thumbs up. And if you're interested in checking out Melodics, there will be a link in the description down below. They do offer a free plan so you can kind of try it out. And then they have the paid plans. I personally would recommend the annual plan because it does chop the price in half if you pay 
annually but for private lessons you're going to be paying a few hundred dollars per lesson in my experience when i looked outside of high school when i had already finished that class and i could no longer take it because i stopped taking it halfway through the second year when i was about 18 to 20 i would start looking into a few private lessons there and they were just really expensive and seeing the pricing point for melodics and the fact that you can mess around with it for free and still do some lessons is amazing so again if you want to check that out go ahead and hit the link in the description below other than that you guys can follow me on all social medias at lifestyle did it make sure to hit my site lifestyle did it.com for everything else other than that subscribe to your boy push notifications thanks